Paint. Tux Paint is an application used to draw pictures. It is very easy to use. When we look at the desktop, we see an icon of Tux Paint. This application can be opened by double clicking on its icon with the help of the left button of the mouse. Observe the screen that appears after clicking on the Tux Paint icon. It is the title screen or the splash screen and will disappear after about 15 seconds. Then the main screen will appear. Fact bit. You can download Tux Paint for free from www.tuxpaint.org. Tux Paint Screen Tux Paint Screen consists of different parts. Toolbar This bar contains picture buttons for all drawing tools. There are 14 tools in all. Drawing Area This is the white area where drawing is made. It is the largest area of the screen. Selector it shows all the options of the selected tool. For example, when the paint brush tool is selected, it shows the various brushes available. Color palette. This consists of all colors which can be used. There are 17 colors. Help area. At the very bottom of the screen, Tux provides tips and other information while you draw. Tux mascot. Present in the help area of the Tux Paint guides us about the function of the tool which is clicked. For example, if we single click on Magic Tool, the Tux mascot indicates pick a magical effect to use on your drawing. Tux Paint has many drawing tools and colors which help us in being creative. Tools in Tux Paint There are different tools available in Tux Paint. Paint Tool this tool is used for painting anything you like. To use the paint tool, follow the steps given below. Step 1. On clicking the paint tool from the toolbar, in the selector pane, many brushes appear. Step 2. You can select the brush tool of your choice. Step 3. When you get the mouse pointer on the drawing canvas, it changes into a paint brush. Step 4. Try the following freehand drawing using the paint tool. Text tool. When you want to add some text in the drawing, the text tool is used. To use the text tool, follow the steps below. Step 1. Click the text tool button. Step 2. Select the size, type and color of the font which you want from the selector pane. Step 3. When you will get the mouse pointer to the canvas, it will turn into a cursor. Step 4. On the area where you want to write, press the left mouse button. Step 5. You will get a rectangular box where you can write. Lines tool. With the help of this tool, you can draw straight lines on the canvas. To use the lines tool, follow the steps given below. Step 1. Click on the Lines tool present on the toolbar. Step 2. Choose a color from the color box. Step 3. Click and select the required size of the line from the selector pane. Step 4. Now move the mouse pointer on the drawing canvas holding the left mouse button. Leave the mouse button when you finish drawing. Fact bit. Paint tool and the Lines tool open up the same selector trays. That is, the designs are the same. Eraser tool. This tool is used to erase any unwanted part of the drawing. Stamp tool. By using the stamp tool, we can put a stamp of pre-saved images in the drawing. Tux has some inbuilt stamps, but you can also add stamps of your own. Saving the drawing. Click on the save tool from the toolbar to save the picture you have drawn. The computer will save it automatically. Opening a drawing. To open an existing drawing in Tux Paint, follow the steps given below. Step 1. Click on the Open tool. Step 2. Select the drawing you want to open. Step 3. Click on the Open button. Fact bit. Tux Paint allows typing characters in different languages. Starting a new drawing. In Tux Paint, to start a new drawing, follow the steps given below. 
Step 1. Click on New button from the toolbar. Step 2. You will get color boxes and starters to start a new drawing. Step 3. Click on the down arrow button to see ready-made pictures and background. Step 4. Select the drawing by double-clicking on it. Step 5. The picture will appear on the canvas. Coloring the drawing. Once you have inserted a ready-made drawing in Tux Paint, you can fill colors in it. To color your drawing, follow the given steps. Step 1. Select the magic tool in the tools bar. Step 2. In the selector bar, click on the down arrow button and select fill effect option. Step 3. Select any color from the colors box. Click on the object where you want to fill the color. Drawing shapes. Tux Paint allows us to draw different shapes using shapes tool. A shape can be rotated to any angle up to 360 degree scale. Rotation is the unique feature of the shapes tool. To draw shapes, follow the steps given below. Step 1. Click on the Shapes tool in the Tools bar. Step 2. In the Selector bar, you will see various filled and unfilled shapes. Step 3. Select any shape and drag it on the canvas using the mouse. Step 4. Release the mouse button once you have completed the square. Step 5. The outline of the shape will be placed on the canvas with a rotation handle. You can rotate the shape as per your need. Stamp tool. In Tux Paint, there are small pictures which are used as stamps or stickers. These stickers are of different types like flowers, animals, fruits, vegetables, birds, etc. We use the stamp tool for pasting these pictures on the drawing area. Following steps will explain how to use this tool. Step 1. Select the new tool. Step 2. Now go to a blank page and make a double click. Step 3. Now select the stamp tool. Step 4. Using the left and right arrow keys, the user can browse through the types of stamps available. Step 5. Click on a stamp which you wish to add. Step 6. As you move the mouse pointer to the drawing area, an outline of the selected stamp will appear. Step 7. Click once and this will paste the stamp. Step 8. The user can also paste the same stamp again by simply clicking on another part of the drawing area. Step 9. Click on any other tool to finish using stamps. Fact bit. Tux Paint has been translated in more than 85 languages and many Indians have actively participated in translating Tux Paint into various Indian languages like Tamil, Hindi, Gujarati, Telugu, etc. Eraser Tool This tool is used for erasing any mistake while drawing. By using the Eraser Tool, the unwanted parts and mistakes in drawing can be erased. It is very easy to use Eraser Tool. Step 1. Select the Eraser Tool from the toolbox. Step 2. Select the shape of the eraser from the sub tool box. Step 3. Click and drag on the part of the image that you want to erase. Magic tool. For applying special effects to any picture, we use the magic tool. Magic tool helps in making the picture look attractive. It is easy to use the magic tool by following the given steps. Step 1. Choose the magic tool. Step 2. You can go through the different effects by scrolling down. Step 3. Select the magic effect you wish to add. Step 4. Choose a color. Step 5. Click or drag on the drawing canvas and this will apply the selected tool. Smudge effect. Mixing of different colors to create beautiful effects is called smudge effect. Let us learn how to do so. Step 1. Draw two differently colored circles using the shapes tool. Step 2. Now select the smudge effect from magic tool 
to show how the spheres will look like if we join them from one end and form a new color. Creating a slideshow. An entire story can be created using the Tux Paint software. You need to follow the given steps for creating a story. Step 1. In Tux Paint, create different scenes. Step 2. Then save these files separately. Step 3. Select the Open tool. Step 4. Select the Slides button. Step 5. You can create the sequence for each file by numbering them. To do this, click on them. Step 6. Click on the Play button. Stamp tool. Stamps are the small pictures or stickers which can be used in Tux Paint. They make our work easy and faster. They help in making your drawing look attractive. With the help of the stamp tool, you can paste the pictures on the drawing area. For using the stamp tool, you can follow the given steps. Step 1. Choose the new tool. Step 2. Now go to a blank page and make a double click. Step 3. Select the stamp tool. Step 4. Using the left and right arrow keys, the user can browse through the types of stamps available. Step 5. Click on a stamp which you want to add. Step 6. As you move the mouse pointer to the drawing area, an outline of the selected stamp will appear. Step 7. Click once. This will paste the stamp. You can also paste the same stamp again by simply clicking on another part of the drawing area. Step 8. Click on any other tool to finish using stamps. Magic Tool For applying the special effects to a picture, we use the Magic Tool. When magic effect is added to a picture, it becomes more attractive. It is simple to use Magic Tool. We can follow the steps given below. Step 1. Select the Magic Tool. Step 2. You can go through the different effects by scrolling down. Step 3. Select the magic effect you wish to add. Step 4. Choose a color. Step 5. Click or drag on the drawing canvas. This will apply the selected tool. All magic effects do not work on a blank canvas. For them to work, first a picture needs to be drawn and then the magic effects can be applied to them. For example, chalk, waves, drip. Magic tools help to create special effects on the canvas. There are more than 50 special effects available. Let us learn about few common effects. Rainbow and real rainbow effect. Rainbow effect draws a train of rainbow colors as you drag the magic wand on the canvas. Real rainbow effect draws a colorful arc based on a real photo of a rainbow. To use the rainbow effect, follow the steps given below. Step 1. Select the magic tool. Step 2. Select the rainbow effect from the subtool box. Step 3. Place the magic wand anywhere in the drawing area and drag it to some other point. You will see a train of rainbow colors as you draw. Step 4. Now select the real rainbow effect. Step 5. Choose a single point on the drawing area. From that point, click and drag the mouse to a new location. Step 6. Release the left mouse button at the end point, the real rainbow on the canvas. Bricks effect. It paints realistic large or small brick patterns. To use this tool, follow the given steps. Step 1. Select the magic tool. Step 2. Select the bricks effect from the subtool box. Step 3. Draw the bricks by single clicking on left button for smaller bricks or click and drag the mouse for larger bricks. Grass effect. It paints realistic clumps of grass on the screen and into the distance. To use the grass effect, Follow the given steps. Step 1. Select the magic tool. Step 2. 
Select the grass effect from the sub tool box. Step 3. Draw the grass by single clicking on left button or dragging the mouse. Blur. It blurs the area of the picture on which it is applied. Let us see how this tool works on a picture. Step 1. Select the stamp tool. Apply any stamp on the canvas. Step 2. Select the magic tool. Step 3. Select the blur effect from the sub tool box. Step 4. Apply it over the stamp and observe how it looks. Mirror effect. It flips the image horizontally. It is used to create mirror image of the drawing. Step 1. Create a drawing in Tux Paint. Step 2. Select the Magic Tool. Step 3. Select the Mirror Effect from the Sub Tool box. Step 4. Click the Magic Wand on the drawing. You will observe that the mirror image of your drawing will be created. Clicking the wand again will give you the original drawing back. As clicking again and again keeps flipping the image horizontally. Creating a slideshow. Tux Paint helps us to make our story look attractive with the help of different types of stamp, magic effect and by using many other tools. For creating a slideshow, you can follow the steps given below. Step 1. Create different scenes. Then save these files separately. Step 2. Select the Open tool. Step 3. Select the Slides option. Step 4. You can create the sequence for each file by numbering them. To do this, click on them one by one. Step 5. Click on Play. Once you click on the Play button, all the scenes which you have selected will play one after the other in sequence which you have selected. This is known as the slideshow.